So today we're going to go around the Buccaneer Galera and I'm going to show you everything that this has got and I'm also going to show you how everything works. So Let's have a look at all the outside first. On the near side, we've got a locker. This is the, the Galeri, the six berth, so it's got rear bunk beds here. So we've got a storage locker that goes underneath of that rear bunk bed. Fridge vents, so we've got the big fridge freezer in this one, so they're the big fridge vents in there. We've got a little locker then towards the front and tucked away just round this side here, We've got a, a plug socket, 230 volt plug socket, so you can have power out into the awning. And you've also got a little aerial, so if you want a TV out into the awning. And again, nice, easy storage, so um, getting things in and out with this little sort of tray here is quite nice and easy too. And then we've got the external gas barbecue point, so barbecues. Um, you get a little fitting that just goes onto your gas hose, plug that in, turn the gas on and that will come off the main gas bottles which they're located in our front locker as normal and this has got an auto changeover, it's got the whale auto changeover system so you can have two gas bottles on and then it's literally, if one runs out, just switch it over and there's a little arrow here that points to which gas hose is being used so you just change that over to the other one. Now this is set up with the quick hand wheels so there's no need for a spanner it's literally just tighten these up, reverse thread as normal um, and then just do hand tight and then just literally turn it off just literally turn it on on the gas bottle itself and that is it. Normally obviously these would be strapped in but just for demonstration purposes just to be able to show you. There's a little shower uh, hose in the in the front here which I'll show you where that goes afterwards. We've got a little light on the front as well that will light up the front box. We've got the Alco ATC and we're on 13 pin electrics for towing and obviously we've got the Alco stabilised hitch head. Now round the other side we've got the Aldi central heating uh, so that's just the flue for the heating system so you don't need to do anything with that. Our water inlet uh, now this will supply so we can actually use the water system on this it's got an inboard water tank and obviously you can use the Acrol as well so you can fill the onboard water tank and come straight off the Acrol. Literally the pump just plugs in as normal and then just locks in with the little top. The external shower unit that we showed you in the front you can plug into here and just use as a little dog wash, uh, wash your feet off etc. So that's quite a nice little feature. And then we've got the leisure battery and our mains hook up as normal. In here as well because it's got a motor mover we have got the key switch to put that motor mover on and off. And then on the cassette toilet no filler, no separate filler for the flush water it comes off the main water system so you have to have the main water system on for the toilet to flush and then it's just literally the cassette at the bottom so just empties out as normal all of our wastewater are going to come out just here right then come come and have a look at this we've got to put the legs down the legs still aren't down yet so we can't go inside the barrel but we don't use a winding handle on this one we literally either use our remote control or the little panel on the side of the caravan. Um, now if we're using a remote control we just literally press the on button. Now one thing that you do have to make sure on these is that the front is actually down. Um, if the front's too high it can't level the, the caravan so you need to make sure that the front of the jockey wheel is, is quite low and the back is a little bit higher. Once we've made sure that that is done all that we do is either on our control panel exactly the same or on our handset here we just literally press our auto and that's going to put the legs down for us I've got to say I'm worn out now after putting those legs down, winding those down. You can then 
tweak it if you want with the individual so you press the little hand button and then you could do them individually and then to take the legs up it's just the opposite button so the the up arrow there you just press that one and up come the legs so uh, leveling has never been so easy uh, and again that self-leveling system doesn't matter whether you're plugged into the mains or just on a site with just the battery it's going to work on both so you're not going to get stuck in a field somewhere the control panel in here as i say is exactly the same so we've got our on and off We've got our manual, um, we've then got our auto down, our auto up, and then we can just toggle through the individual ones once we've pressed a little hand just to do any little fine tweaks if, uh, if needs be. Let's have a look inside of the caravan. Now, now all of our main switches are just next to the door as we come in basically. So we've got our main sort of master 12 volt on and off. This will put then a secondary 12 volt on and off um, so without this master one here uh, even with this one on you're not going to get all your, your power actually coming through uh, and then you've got all your individual lights um, your water so you can use your internal or external water pump so depending on how you want to use it if you've got that internal water tank full and again it will tell us the level here so we can then obviously just put it to internal for the internal water tank and then if we wanted to fill the external one up or just run straight off the external water tank we just switch it over then to either external outside or as i say internal to use the inboard one off in the middle um so it depends how you want to to do it basically i'll pop it onto external um, and that's how we'll run the water through We've got the Aldi central heating control panel just above. I'll show you just underneath of this seat because this is where we've got a few more bits and bobs that we just need to run through. So we've got our drain off for our water system for over the winter. We've got an emergency retract on our legs. So if we lost power uh, or something went wrong, we can press a little emergency button in there and uh, all the legs will then come back up again. All of our power, so all of our trip switches and fuses are just in this locker here. And again, we've still got a little bit of storage in this locker here, um, even though we've got quite a few bits and bobs in there too. Our water system again is, is just normal then. We just put our taps on and that will bring the, the water through once we've got our pump in the on position our gas system exactly the same as normal um, so we've just got our normal system we've got our electric ring on there we've got our fridge i'll show you quickly how the fridge works so we've got our main on and off button we can then literally just choose either gas our electric or if we were towing and we wanted to use it on the car as we we're going along we've got our battery to change the setting of the fridge it's just literally our little one on the side just above we've got our microwave now we've got an eco power button on this one so it goes into like a sleep mode so to wake that up we have to press the eco button and then we can use that as normal again we'll always say just to remove that microwave plate if you're going to travel so i'll pop that out of the way now nice big long seating here at the at the front and again lots of lighting all the way through and this massive roof light um lets in so much light and we've got an extractor fan built into there as well we've got a couple of power sockets for tv etc up on the front there and then we've got a 12 volt and a couple of usb sockets over on the side there as well so it's it's well kitted out to be fair we've got the aldi central heating then um so you've got your main on and off button we need to make sure that we've got the power plug on there if we want to use it on 230 volt and then this will tell us what the temperature inside of the caravan is the little circular one with the arrows is telling us that the heating system is on and trying to heat the system up and then as i said that is just literally saying what our internal temperature is when we press menu we can then select what the temperature inside the caravan is that we want our hot water we've got our first setting is just normal hot water so that's what we're going to use 99% of the time. If we did want to boost the hot water it and get that water coming through hotter quicker, it's just the second setting. But in doing that, 
all the power will go through to the hot water and it will turn the internal heating off so uh, just just be wary of that as i say normally that's what you're going to use that first setting for your hot water you've then got your electric so you've got one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt so depending on how much power that you've got available and what you want to use you can set that to the power and then if you went to a site and you hadn't got any 230 volt you can just use your gas as well and that will then just light up your gas and as i say it will just work on the thermostat then on your heating and get the temperature up inside the caravan to what you want it to to turn it all back off it's literally just have everything so your water in the off position your electric in the off position your gas in the off position and you can then turn everything off just on the main power button there as well you might notice we've got a little three pin connector just up the top here now that's part of the alarm system so on the keys on the keys there's a little tab so uh, if the batteries went dead in the alarm key fobs you can just press that in and that will arm or disarm the alarm system also as mentioned we've got the extractor fan that will extract out and blow cool air in as well and then at the back we've got our nice big separate shower and toilet it's just literally the blue button uh, to flush the toilet and then we've got the little grey handle at the bottom just to open that cassette up we've got a couple of power sockets just down here so that'll put power 230 volt uh, really nice little uh, seat here so you can do your hair etc and then there's a couple of a power socket some usb sockets a sort of cigarette charger type socket and then tv points down there as well and again on the bunk beds we've got two little lights either side or on the on the one side sorry and then same on the top one so nice little area for the for the bunks there and again i really like that little seating area that's a good good little area there hopefully that has sort of shown you through the main bits and bobs on this buccaneer galera if uh, you need any more information, just let us know. Thanks, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.